What's up, everybody? It's your man's KJ the Great dropping another edition of All Sports Media TV. But first, I want to say, I hope and pray everything is great your way. All right, you guys. Now let's talk about it. The WBA has come out and announced that they will grant Danny Swift Garcia permission to fight Aries Londi Lara at a catch weight. 155 pound catch weight for the WBA super middleweight title. Now, Eris Londi Lara, uh, he's 29 wins, three losses, no, uh, three draws, 17 wins by way of knockout. He was recently elevated to super champion status after Gennady Golovkin vacated his title. Um, don't know what him vacating his titles was about yet, really, but um, now. At 40 years old, Eris Londi Lara is the oldest champion that we have in boxing. Um, Danny Swift Garcia, uh, he's 37 wins, three losses, no draws, 21 wins coming by way of knockout. He was last in the ring against Ho Jose Benavidez Jr., where he got a, a majority decision win. Uh, a lot of people thought it was... Um, possibly a draw. Me, myself, I personally scored it in his favor to be a split decision win, but that's just me, um, you know, arguing with the judges. Won't even get into all that. Um, but that was his uh, debut at 154 pounds, his first fight that he had since his loss with Earl Spence. When Earl Spence came back, um, that was his first time to, uh, getting back in the ring. So this will be his first time getting back in the ring since then. That last fight happened uh, last July. Um, we know I got word that uh, Danny Swift Garcia has been in the, in the gym training. And he's been, you know, keeping his weight right. So um, this should be a good showdown. Now, the, 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 uh, this will take place August 5th at the Brooklyn Barclays Center. Um, and we do know that... There was a lot of things. They were trying to get this deal done for months, but the number one thing that was holding it up was the mandatory for that title, which is uh, Mike, who is uh, Michael Zephra. I believe that's how you say his name, Zafara. Excuse me. Uh, he is uh, 30 wins, four losses, no draws, 19 wins coming by way of knockout. He was wanting to punch his ticket to fight for that title, whether it was Triple G or Arislan Lara, he was wanting to get in there. Now, he did take step aside, you know, money, but the the there were stipulations behind it was he takes step aside money and he's guaranteed to be on this undercard as well. So we'll get to see, you know, three fighters potentially will end up, you know, two of them will be fighting that night for the title, and then the other two, they're guaranteed to fight for that title afterwards. Now, the WBA did state that the winner of this fight must face uh, Michael Zafara in by December, or they run the risk of being stripped. And that's pretty good, because it, um, and for me personally, I like that, because it keeps the fighters active, it keeps us, it keeps them giving, it keeps them giving us the fights that we want to see, I, I personally like that, especially if Danny Garcia wins this fight. He uh, it keeps him active. I know he he was out for uh, some time prior to fighting Jose Benavidez Jr. Uh, you know, citing he had you know confidence issues and mental health issues. Glad to see him back. Glad to see him in full swing. Uh, Aaron Slandy Lara. He hasn't fought in a while. Uh, he hasn't been as super super inactive, but he hasn't fought in a while. So. Putting that fight like that, it definitely keeps these guys fighting at least twice a year and not just once a year. Um, you know, some people, they want to see the fighters fight at least three times a year. But, you know, hey, we get what we get sometimes. But we also get big fights like this. Now, within this fight, um, just on the surface, you know, a lot of people were saying like, Man, I wonder if Danny Swift Garcia still got it. I wonder if he can, you know, get it. I believe personally he'll win a, a split decision in this fight, but because I think this fight will be, you know, kind of ticky tacky where they're, you know, picking their spots. 
somebody's going to have to take a risk at some point. Um, Danny Garcia, he's got he's got a great, great resume. Um, so he has a lot of experience. Um, he's got names on his record like uh, Amir Khan, you know, that kind of shot him up into stardom when he had that TKO a while back. Zab Judah. I mean, he's fought a lot of different guys. He he uh, he lost to uh, Keith Thurman and he lost to uh, Sean Porter. But there's no shame in those losses. Um, you know, he he definitely is still a star within the sport. He definitely is, you know, um, a guy who you don't take lightly. Same with uh, Eris Landy Lara. No, no slight on him either. You know, he 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 lost to, um, you know, Canelo and he had, you know, another controversial loss. But all in all, I expect a great fight out of these two. I expect this one to be fireworks. I do um, see Danny Gar Garcia, you know, potentially get uh, potentially hurting Arislandi Lara a few times throughout the rounds, but ultimately coming on strong, finishing strong, and getting a split decision win. That's my take on that. I do, um, and I do um, fully expect him to come out, you know, not unscathed but healthy. Healthy enough to where he doesn't have medical issues that will sideline him so that we can get the Michael Zafara fight in December. But that's all I got for you guys in this quick video. Hope you like it. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that share button. I appreciate you guys for all your comments. Tune in for more. I'll, you know, give up. Uh, as this fight gets closer, I'll uh, drop another video and do a, a quick breakdown of why I think things will go the way I just said they'll go. But yeah, peace.